You like this little first show we did? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh man, a special night, a special night. You know what, I got some really awesome people here tonight celebrating. I really want to thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, I want to introduce you to my brother. You guys invite me to my brother real quick? I don't have much time, pal. Hurry. <laughs> I've always been very proud of my brother. Very proud. Love him so much. And it, it's, uh, it's funny because uh, sometimes people have different reactions when they meet him. Like the other night, I've got a friend come over. I think she's in the audience. <laughs> I didn't even say anything yet. I'm not that good. And uh, he, you know, he's, he's, he's sitting on the couch and he tells my wife, or she tells my wife, Oh, Hoogie, what's going on? Hey, Trish, how you doing? She's like, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is too funny. I have to share it. I have to. So, I, uh, so I'm like, hey, this is my brother, Paul. So she turns around and she's like, oh, hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. I was like, he has Down syndrome, he's not deaf. <laughs> he even looked at me too weird, he's like, what the hell's wrong with her? I don't know how, he looks smarter than her, I think. So it's great, we have uh, almost a sold out show, almost, that's pretty packed, huh? that's pretty cool. Well, I, I tried to get good across some pointers, I wanted to get, put a sign out front. Comedy show and free hand jobs. I don't know why I didn't want to do it. I got the idea there, night watching infomercials, you know when they're selling those dick pills for guys, you know, just like... They show you like you're gonna be riding horses and all that and get your dick hard and you're in the bathtub and stuff, like when the time is right, your dick will get hard. Side effects, you may cause uh, rectal bleeding, burst your spleen, you may go blind, you'll probably lose your hearing, but hey, your dick's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's it. Call now and receive a free handbag. And I thought, what would have been better is call now and get a free hand job, right? Because you get that, and then you go, call now for your free handbag, and you're like, I don't know, dude, should we get that? I don't know if I want that. <laughs> call now to see your free hand job. Fucking, where's the phone? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ladies, I thought of you too. I thought of you too. Putting a sign out front. Comedy show and free lives to Candy Crush Saga. <laughs> A few of you are playing, I'm sure. I swear to God. I tell my wife, hey baby, it's bone, you know? And she's like, I don't know, I don't know. I have free lives on Candy Crush Saga. And she's like, oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, tell me. <laughs> I'll give you some. Fuck yeah, tell me. My wife's white. Come on, that's where the town ain't. Fuck yeah, town ain't. Give me the lives, town ain't. Fucking candy crush, right on. It's like this weird phenomenon. Some of you got guys, some of you probably don't know about it, right? You know? I don't know about it. I played it like one time and I'm like, this is fucking stupid. It's stupid. Yeah. So. And it was weird because my buddy called me uh, a few nights ago. My buddy, uh, Nate Dog, and uh, <laughs> he's like, Tony, I got, I got, uh, I got to talk to you about something serious, bro. Well, actually, my, uh, Brooke, his girl, Brooke, has to talk to you about something serious. I was like, Hey, what's, what's going on, Brooke? What's up? She's like, Tony, Tony, 
I need you to tell Nicole to send me a plane ticket on Candy Crush. <laughs> what the fuck? What is, what? What are, what are you talking about? Plane ticket. So that's like a weird phenomenon. I'm thinking about getting a Candy Crush tattoo next to my dick so I'll get more attention. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. So it's funny though, these girls are... <laughs> you got some girls that play competitively right there, yeah. They're like, I'm gonna get the next level bitch before you, bitch. I know girls talking like, oh my god, look at it. Rachel is like, she passed level 25, that bitch. I need the secret codes. Like, bitch. I can't believe she passed level 32. It's funny, girls. Girls are trippy, man. It's funny. The other day, we were out at a restaurant, ran into an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad news already. So I, I say hi to her, give her a hug, I meet her, her husband, then I come back to the table, and my wife's like, what took you so long? Oh, I ran into my ex-girlfriend. She's like, what? <laughs> where, where is she? Where, where, what? Where the fuck is she, Tony? Where the fuck is she, Tony? <laughs> I'm like, wait, I just said hi, I met her husband, they just had a baby, you know, whatever. She's like, no, fuck that. I, I, I know, I want to say hi to her. I want to say hi. Where's she at? I want to say hi. I just want to say hi. That's all. I just want to say hi. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know, they're over there. So she's like, I'm going to go say hi. I'm going to go say hi. Because she's like, what does she look like? How does she look? How's she looking? How's she looking, Tony? She looking good? Huh? How come? How's she look? What level is she on Candy Crush, Tony? Girls are funny, man. You know, watch out. Funny, funny girls. So, uh... Damn it, man. So I recently went to Mexico. Not too long ago, yes. Yes, white boy. Look at that, man. <laughs> Yeah, fuck yeah, Vikings, right on, bro. Viking, Vikings. Soma, Soma's, bro, Soma's. You do Soma's? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Liar.